Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob Resituto and I'm a musician from Northport, New York and welcome to back to another two minute tutorial. Get it? Uh, pun intended. <laughs> now, but for real, today we're talking about the 808 kit and I know in a lot of my reactions, there's breakdowns in my songs, I talk about the 808 and actually you hear it a lot in popular music today in general. What the 808 is, let's go into it. Actually, let me show you the screen really quick. So an 808 is was originally uh, 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 made by Roland, I think in the 80s, if not the 70s, and it's it's a drum machine actually. So you can see it right here. I can make it a little bigger for you guys. It's a drum machine, and I'm gonna give you an example of it. And what you could do is you actually say like, okay, on this this one right here, I want to hear a kick drum. This right here, I want to hear a hi hat. This I want to hear a snare, and you can tune them and you can create very specific sounds to them. So that being said, let's take a listen to what like an example. This is a, a video uh, on this guy's channel. Shout out to Retro Sound. He, he's going to create a sound, and then I'm going to go in and explain how we use them modernly today. So let's, let's just take a little listen to this. So here, how it's just a. a so you watch this as we go. You can see the actual rhythm moving. You can see what we're using, where it's, things are being hit, and you can see it as it's composed in the thing. Now if we go a little farther, here's another one. Has a very distinct sound. So what it is, you program into the sound, what the, you program into your rhythm with the sounds that you want. Now let me give you a little bit more of a real world modern example. What happened is the 808 was a drum machine we used to very often create for creating drum rhythms. It's not so much used anymore as a drum rhythm, but what the main thing that came out of it was the kick drum. The kick drum had such a distinct sound that we actually started using it today as bass sounds. So, so for example, this is a sampled 808 that I got uh, from splice.com, which I use very often for getting samples. And let me just show you an example. Like this is what it sounds like. Can you hear that? Let me, let me if you're on headphones, I don't have headphones, it might be hard to hear. Let's raise it a little. Hear that? That's the, so the original thing is that was a kick drum. This was a kick drum right here. This maybe a little lower, but it would use be used as a kick. So what happens is when you raise the release of the kick, it, it actually turns into this longer note, which we very commonly use as a bass. Hear that? Now what happens is you can actually pitch that bass and create a melodic pitched bass, which is what we use 808s as today. Hear the pitch changing? Now you can create an actual melody. And then let me talk about this. Very often you can actually hear the, the pitch sliding in, in there. It's a whole bunch of different things that you can add. Well, instead of it going just from one note to the next, you'd actually hear boom, sliding up and down. That's one way. It's a very, very, very popular way to get a really nice fat sound. What you'll also see, here, let me give you a quick, a quick uh, 30 second little mixing tip for it. You can, you can really punch the, the kick with it. If you really wanted to be punchy, punch the kick, put that, that low where the kick drum hits, and then you can add a little bit of bit crusher or distortion. I like adding bit crusher. What we just down sample it, add a decent amount of drive, make it rap. Let's go. I'm gonna go in quick just to give you a quick little example. Now this original sound, this is what we originally had, like for example, this turned into this. That was a little much, but now if we lower the amount of mix, gets a little more dirty. For example. Now, last example I want to give, if you want to have it with less of an attack, so you don't hear that original kick drum sound like we have, you can raise the en the envelope attack, and now when it hits, you're swelling in, instead of originally being punchy in. There you go. I hope you guys enjoyed that. A little bit of background on the 808 bass, where it originally came from. It originally came from that drum kit from the 80s. A lot of songs used it in that distinct kind of rhythmic sound. It has a very, very distinct tone. Um, but then we, we kind of modernized it and, and used it, not as in its original purpose, changing the purpose into now how we use them today. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what else you want to explain and talk about. I'll see you guys in the next two-minute tutorial. Have a great day. God bless and peace out.